Hi guys, Jay Foster here. Let's take a look at the archetypes wheel. Just like the compass, it has four orientations, but rather than north, south, east, and west, we have order, freedom, socialness, and ego. Does your ship sail towards socialness and connection? Socialness, connecting with others, togetherness, and harmony, they're all super important to us, right? As lovers, we use enthusiasm, passion, and faithfulness to connect with people through our close personal relationships. As caregivers, we use compassion and patience to serve, protect, and care for others. And as orphans, we connect by empathizing with people so that we can feel like we all belong. Because our main focus is socialness and connection, our biggest fear is being left out or left alone. And our desire for human connection on all levels may leave us feeling vulnerable. And this makes self-acceptance and self-love all the more difficult for us to achieve. Ah, what would the world do without us? We do all of the thankless jobs, don't we? Listen up here, let's all pat ourselves on the back for all that we do that goes unnoticed. We deserve our own self-time and space, don't we? We've been giving and giving and giving and caring for others our entire lives. And it's okay for us to have a little bit of free time or a little bit of our own space. And it's okay for us to give ourselves a little break. It's okay to set up some firm boundaries so that we can have our own time to refuel. And now is the time to let go of that grudge that we have with the family members who hurt us so deeply. It's unfair and it's painful, but letting go of that grip, just, just letting it go, is the gift that we're giving to ourselves. And it's this very gift that we deserve for a lifetime of giving all of those selfless acts of kindness and caring to others. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other Compass videos so that you can learn what your friends and family and partners, what the heck they're thinking. So we'll see you next time.